Hey, guys, longer days, they're coming. They're coming, we're springing forward. This weekend, do not forget to set your clocks. Why do we even say that anymore? What's the point of saying... <laughs> your phone will automatically do it. You don't have to... You know, phones automatically go there. It's not like people are like, oh, I've got to change all the cuckoo clocks. <laughs> A lot of people hate daylight savings. Where do you fall on it, Calms? What? Whatever. Yeah? <laughs> It's just, it's like a little something in the middle of March where you're like, oh, well, yeah. all right. You know what I mean? It's yeah. fine. I do, I'll miss the hour, but I do like it a little lighter in the evening. It's great. That's the truth of it. Yeah. I've just noticed Pete's T-shirt. <laughs> and it has taken, move the wire there, Pete. So it says, I think, therefore I'm horny. <laughs> See what he's doing for the crew, Scotty. Still nothing. <laughs> Look, speaking of time, we can delay time no longer because it's that time. It's time for the news. <laughs> and high-level talks between Russia and Ukraine took place today, but according to reports, they ended with no breakthroughs. They met in Turkey. Isn't it just nice to see Russia going somewhere that they're actually invited, you know? <laughs> Can you, um, I can't even begin to imagine how strange these meetings must be. It'd be like trying to have a conversation with someone who's actively setting your house on fire. <laughs> like, what do they do? Do they, like, do they get there and there's small talk before they get into there? Oh, yeah, that Russell Wilson trade, that's crazy. <laughs> anyway, we'd love it if you could, you know, pump the brakes on the whole invasion thing. <laughs> Moving on, new Labour Department numbers released this, uh, released this morning show that inflation increased nearly 8% over the past year, the sharpest spike since 1982. I came to America to tell jokes, <laughs> dance a bit, sing in a car. <laughs> Nobody told me I'd have to become an expert on key macroeconomic indicators. <laughs> yeah. But inflation is a real problem, and the worst thing about it is that, unlike COVID, it can't get you out of a dinner party. That's the problem. <laughs> you come like, oh, Friday, ah, oh, it's just inflation. I've got to... <laughs> just out of an abundance of inflation, I'm going to have to cancel. <laughs> and did everybody see this? The TSA announced today that they are extending its mask mandate for planes and public transportation until April 18th, which is a month longer than planned. Although Spirit Airlines continues to stand firm on its policy of no shirt, no shoes, no problem. <laughs> this is the third time <laughs> the mandate has been extended. You know what's going to happen here? I, got, I, I know exactly what's going to happen. This is going to end up with airlines charging us a fee to go maskless. <laughs> That's what they'll do. <laughs> And there's been a lot of bitter infighting in the Democratic Party lately, so for the next two days, House Democrats will be heading to a team-building retreat in <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> Spring break! Woo! <laughs> Progressives and moderates are at odds over fundamental differences, but hopefully they can smooth this whole thing out with a good old karaoke duet of Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> They're in Philly. That's where they've gone for it. They've gone to Philly. Personally, it's a good... I, mean, I cannot think of a better place to foster unity <laughs> than in the city whose football fans famously booed Santa Claus <laughs> and pelted him with snowballs. <laughs> uh, not on topic, but you, you do something new with your hair? Yeah, why? Is it, what is it, how is it, I, can't, I don't know what it looks like. I it can't looks, remember. It looks fantastic. You look great. That's okay, great. Let me see it. No, from, the front, what, what, from the front? Yeah, a little quiff going on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You look good with I, a bolo. What, with a bolo? You should have a bolo tie. Yeah. Okay. With that hair. Let's go, let's go one step at a time, yeah. shall we? It's Why, good. Is it, is, it, like... is it higher than normal, is it? Young Patrick Swayze vibes over here. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, a lot, a lot of people saying that. Yeah. <laughs> and did everybody hear about this? Shortly after Donald Trump's private jet was forced to land the other day due to engine failure, his political action committee sent out an email asking for cash to fund a new airplane, <laughs> an airplane that Trump is calling Trump Force One. Yeah. <laughs> He's begging people for cash to get a new airplane, you know, just like all the other legitimate billionaires do. <laughs> Who would send money to this? Who would send money? Oh, like, 
if you send my, if you get scammed by Donald Trump at this point, that's on you, right? <laughs> you know how this is gonna turn out? Trump Force One is just gonna end up being a Honda Accord with cardboard <laughs> wings glued to it. And this is exciting. Spring break is back with mask restrictions lifted and COVID numbers way down. Over half a million spring breakers are expected to head to Florida starting this week. Although, to be fair, it's Florida. There were never any COVID rules there anyway. <laughs> but this is great. Spring break is back. COVID is down. Now, the only things to worry about are sunburn, alcohol poisoning, food poisoning, falling off a pontoon boat and gonorrhea. <laughs> Did you go to Florida on spring break? Did you I go know. to Florida? I never went to Florida. Anyone on spring here break. go to Florida on spring break? <laughs> of... I feel like you went, Pete, and emotionally you never returned. <laughs> And there's an unusual debate captivating the internet's attention right now. Has everybody heard about this? People are split on a philosophical question posed in a viral Twitter poll. Are there more doors or wheels in the world? Yeah. Are we sure this wasn't Reggie's question on, like, show 649? 46% voted for doors. 54% voted for wheels. Now, I don't want to confuse things any more than they already are. Can a revolving door count as both? Put that out there. <laughs> what do we feel about this? We started talking about this on a Zoom earlier, and, it, and I would say it got... It ramped within four seconds. <laughs> Where do you stand? Doors. It's doors, and it's not even close. I agree. It's 100% no, look at Rob. Doors. I think it's doors. Tom, you 100% wheels. Let's, let's take a poll. Everyone in the room. Who, think it's, who thinks there are more doors in the world? OK, and who thinks there's more wheels? OK, there's no way there's more wheels. There's no way there's more wheels. Why is there more wheels? What's your definition of a wheel? A wheel. Things that are wheels that are driven on. Go on, Jared, hit me. You look passionate about this. For every door, a door constitutes that there has to be a room. So for every door, that means there's a ceiling, a floor, and four walls, whereas wheels there's three wheels right there, there's four wheels right there, there's three yep. wheels. There has to be more yep. wheels. Agreed. Thank you. Agreed. Because I like that. Jared just went. <laughs> every every cupboard has has a, yes. has a That's door. A door. On it. Every closet is a door. Every closet door. We're in a wheel office, rich environment. Not every box. closet. Not every closet. They, they have wheels. Some of them roll on wheels. Most closets. <laughs> Most closets. Abo, what do you think? Every human has to interact, like, it, live with doors, and you do not have to live with wheels. So, like, just from a human perspective, we rely on doors way more than wheels. But that's uh, not the question. Yeah. Are there no. more doors? Our existence requires more doors than wheels. I, yeah, because I, you could say, because someone would say, uh, a car has got four wheels. I'm like, yeah, but a car has also got four doors. Not all of them. So, yes. Oh, yep. I, yeah, but not all. Yeah, and okay. some cars have spare wheels. <laughs> right, right, but not every door. But you go into a building and there's like 600 doors in it. There's no the, wheels the in right that building. building. But there's a parking garage outside of it with a ton of cars with yeah, a lot of wheels on it. Guess what, Rob? <laughs> I walked there. <laughs> And how did I walk there? I left the house out of a door. I went out my bedroom, into my bathroom, out the front door, walked down the... Oh, I'll pick up a newspaper, I'll go through this door, get a newspaper. Oh, what's that over there? I'll go through that door, get to the building, and guess what? I've got to go through another 85 doors to get to my office. I've not touched a wheel. <laughs> well... What did you say, Pete? You're sitting on five wheels. <laughs> Actually, actually, technically, each leg has two wheels. It's a two-wheeled configuration per leg. So it's actually twice. All right, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the doors in here, Rob. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. One, two, three, four, that's... 
There's not a wheel in there. That's chock full of doors. <laughs> oh, what's that? Going to the Chinese theater. How do I get in there? Through these wheels? No. <laughs> that door, right there. Doors, doors. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> There's doors in there, Rob! <laughs> I'm done with a lot of you. <laughs> what about motorhomes? They're homes, but they also have wheels. Yeah, and those yeah. motorhomes have got doors. Yeah, but more wheels than doors. Right. Every... <laughs> Almost everything that has... Oh, a hang on a minute. Get out of the way. Watch out. Oh, <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, damn. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Executive producer of the I'm show, sorry. Ben Winston, first time on the studio floor in six years. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. Hold your applause. Uh, I, I can't believe this is even a discussion. In the world, there are 4.5 billion buildings. There are only 1.5 billion cars. And of those 1.5 billion cars, the majority of them have four doors. This is absurd. And Rob, no. I'm ashamed of you. <laughs> All right, OK, next. <laughs> are, okay. are there more lizards or birds? <laughs> Go. Birds. It's lizards, you <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Birds, man! And finally, Hidden Valley has created a diamond from their ranch dressing seasoning. It's true, they heated... <laughs> it's true. They heated the ranch seasoning to over 2,000 degrees. Then they crushed it beneath 400 tonnes of pressure, and five months later, they got this. <laughs> what? I mean, that is one way to make sure your fiancé cries when you propose, isn't it? <laughs> they made an actual diamond out of Hidden Valley Ranch, which really, <laughs> really makes you wonder, what is ranch dressing? <laughs> <laughs> they even mounted the diamond on a beautiful band so you could give it as an engagement ring. It's the perfect way to say, I do not expect this relationship to last. <laughs> That's the news. Shout amongst yourselves, we'll be right back, everybody. Wheels.